Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Brandon Green. Welcome to the video. Today we're in Illustrator. Uh, if you saw my last video, you probably saw the line work for this lady. A lot of you said she looks like E.T. I totally agree. Uh, she's got this long wrinkly neck, a wide head. She looks like E.T. Um, so I decided to scrap the line work thing that I had. So I, I made this line work and I used it for the blob brush kind of demo, just kind of something to give an example on. But when I went to finish uh, the illustration, I just realized I don't really want to do another black line with color underneath it. So for this one, I, I decided to go with a no line work approach. Now I used the line work for a, like a sketch. So I put it, I, I grouped it, put it in a layer above, set it to really low opacity, and then I'm just drawing on a layer underneath it so I can, um, I can still see, you know, the drawing, but then I can hide it as I need to. And as it, as it gets uh, further and further towards the end of the illustration, I can hide it more and eventually just get rid of it. Um, so I, I start by making big shapes. You work big to small, just like in any illustration. Make these big, big shapes like her face. Her face is one big shape. And then from there I can, uh, use gradients, I can use blends, I can use different tools to um, give it form, give it lighting, give it just different details. And then uh, I start working on the eye and try and get this big shape. And then since she's facing straight forward, I can just kind of cheat and then flip that over and mirror it. Um, but I have to get that done first. Uh, I have to get the one eye done first. I actually, um, you may have noticed I started doing both eyes and then I would flip it and start working on one and realize why am I why am I flipping this already just get it done completely and then I'll flip it I don't know just a, a silly kind of misstep to slow me down I guess uh, this is the first time I've done this in a while um, you know aside from the few little illustrator things I've done for this channel I really haven't been an illustrator too much lately so some of the things, some of the ways that I'm working are, while they're familiar to me, I've done them a lot. I haven't done them recently. So it's, it's just kind of having to re-remember things. Uh, for instance, when I made the shirt, I really goofed and I made it out of several different pieces rather than like the face when I made one big shape. I didn't do that with the shirt and it really kind of bit me in the butt uh, later on when I go to add the pattern to the shirt and I end up having to kind of backtrack and fix everything. So Illustrator is interesting because you're not just you're not just working two dimensionally. You're working on a third dimension too. Third dimension, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're you're working in your two D space to make your two D artwork. Two D. <laughs> uh, two dimensional artwork. Um, but you're also having to control this like stacking order for everything to make sure everything's kind of above the other shapes that it needs to be. Uh, you know, just you have to control that stacking order in your layers and layers in Illustrator They're more organizational tools than they are like Photoshop where Like you see every bit of the layer like you can scroll through a Photoshop Layer palette and really see how the thing is built and you can do the same thing in Illustrator except a lot of them are hidden in little sub layers so even though in my layers palette it only shows three layers, there's actually hundreds and hundreds of layers for every sh one for every shape that I make. It creates its own little sub layer, and so you have to control those. And, and um, I know that can be really complicated, especially if you're new to digital art or just layers. You know, maybe layers aren't there's <laughs> something that you kind of run away from. But um, but yeah, so you have to control this stacking order just. Um, you know, sending things to the bottom of the artwork or the top of the artwork or just figuring out where in the middle it goes. It's interesting. It's, it's, um, it's a neat way to build or a neat way to design because you have to figure out what I call the build of the artwork. Um, it was always interesting working with other artists and having to open their files and maybe you were editing something that they worked on or maybe you were um, trying to, you, you had to use their artwork for something, right? So you would open up their file and a lot of times I had to kind of deconstruct their artwork before I could do anything because I had to figure out how did they build this, how um, how did they get to this point, 
you know, oh, this effect, they got this effect that this client really likes. I have to emulate that. I got to figure out how how they did this so I can help this client. That kind of thing. Um, but it was, that's an interesting thing about Illustrator is everybody builds things a little different. You know, just like Photoshop, um, there's six ways to do everything. Same as same can be said about Illustrator. There's always several ways to get to one result. Uh, it might be a little different in the end, so you got to figure out, wow, which direction did they take to get here? Uh, because there would be s minor differences. Let's say if uh, you know there's some weird texture on this part, you got to figure out was that a mask, was that a tiff, was that uh, you know hand drawn? Is it just an imported like random abstract shape that they got from somewhere? So um, you just have to figure those things out. So anyways, there's the build of Illustrator and it's really interesting to work in Illustrator for that reason because you have to kind of construct everything in a certain way. It's just a different way of thinking. So for this lady, uh, I, for this illustration of this lady, uh, I use a lot of gradients. I know a few of you are asking about gradients and I do have that on my like to-do list of uh, I'll either do like a, a Q&A session that I've been doing and, and try to um, explain gradients kind of in a quick way or I might do a longer video and really kind of dive into it a little bit. Uh, I use the Pathfinder tool a ton and same thing goes for that. I'm probably going to do a Q&A video and I'll probably do a more in-depth on the Pathfinder. Uh, somebody asked me the other day if I ever use the Shape Builder tool which is basically a tool that does the same thing as the Pathfinder. It's supposed to just be more intuitive, more, uh, more quicker, quicker. Um, but <laughs> I don't, I never use it and there's really no good reason why I don't use it. It's just, I never, I never took the time to really learn it and get used to, to it. I've, I've, uh, used it, you know, just for like, I saw a tutorial or I saw some demo. I'm like, oh, what is that? Well, let me go try it. No, that's about all I've done. Um, so I'll do some videos on that. So I use the Pathfinder and Gradients a ton in this. And then another thing you'll see me using a lot is blends. Um, I may have discussed blends in another video. I'm sure I have because I use them a lot. Um, and I use all three of those a lot. Blends, Gradients, and Pathfinder tool. So those are three videos that um, are definitely coming and... Um, and also three things that you've definitely seen me do and probably talk about. But uh, I am going to do more in-depth videos about those. Um, if you're interested in those, just let me know. I mean, yes, I'll probably do them anyways. But, uh, you know, the, the more support that I, I know is out there for that kind of video or the more requests. There's, I'm noticing there's a, like a light reflection right here in my, uh, where is it? Right here. It looks like I'm eating like a... Sorry. Uh, um, so the more the more I understand that people want to see those videos, the more uh, I'll definitely do those videos, or the quicker I'll do them, or the more time I'll spend putting into it. It's just going to help me, help motivate me to do those videos. So just just con leave a comment below, say yes, I definitely want to see videos on you know whatever. Fill in the blank. Um, at this point, I'm working on this flannel for her shirt and realizing the problem I mentioned before with the way I built this shirt was ridiculously idiotic. Um, you know, I should have just made one big shape for the shirt and probably taken a little bit more time and um, thought this through. I mean, I definitely should have thought it through more. But um, I should have just made one large shape for the shirt and then one shape for the undershirt and then... Uh, put the neck where it needed to be from there uh I just kind of I don't know I got I just I wasn't thinking about it and I just wasn't thinking right and so it, I had to go back through and fix everything which was uh yeah just such a pain and it wasn't like a huge fix like it it wasn't anything I, I just spent hours upon hours doing but it made me uh it made me have to do all that thinking again, which means scrapping a couple of things that I already had already done, had already made, and just kind of rebuilding everything the right way. So, um, so anyways, and then 
I started to think I was done with this. I started to like, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna put a little more detail up here in the lips and up here, you know, uh, down here. I'm gonna put, start putting little shadows here and there. And then I realized I still have the entire hand to do. So I get to work on the hand. It always stinks when you have this like major bit to like do, even though <laughs> when you thought you were almost done, you know, you just kind of step back for a second and realize, oh yeah, I was kind of lost in the details too much and uh it's just always better to work big and then get small from there but unfortunately i did that and i started just getting small you know in this area and i still had all this area up here that i hadn't touched I don't know, i'm just rambling about that now because it kind of frustrated me but um you know, trying to get these hands to look like hands, to look like four or five digits, you know, four digits in the thumb. Really just the two digits were the biggest problem because they're, they're curled down like that. So having to just, just have enough value in there to distinguish what they are, but also to make sure that the detail in the hands don't look completely different from that of the face. Uh, it has to look like her hand. Uh, then I go back in and add these earrings, just, you know, adding these little accessories, adding her cigarette and her little, there's probably a term for that holder, cigarette holder is all I uh, recall it, but she didn't actually have one of these. She was in a restaurant. She was not allowed to smoke, but she seemed like somebody who probably smoked. And if she did, she would put it on a little cigarette holder. Um... You know, the cigarette, it doesn't have to have too much detail on it. It doesn't have to have, you know, it's an accessory. It's not going to be the thing people really pay attention to. It's just going to be an accessory. It's going to be something that they notice but don't notice or don't look at too long, you know. So uh, I didn't have to do too much to it. And then I realized I forgot her eyelid, um, which I'm glad I caught that. And then I started adding the blend for this little smoke. So now I'm kind of back back into it where I'm thinking okay now I'm now I'm nearing the end uh, I thought about doing a background like a kind of a, a detailed background like I thought about doing an actual background and at like a restaurant maybe just blur it real bad so it, it has the hint of some sort of uh, uh, interior but instead I just kind of went for this more postcardy kind of uh, background something that I would I would be um, more likely to do in my sketchbook and so um, put this little square behind her just just as kind of a, a starting point I kind of liked it though so I I stuck to it um, and then I started I actually shut the file off I, I, I closed the file and opened it back up later and realized I just I'm kind of bored with it I'm kind of distracted by different areas so I wanted to try out some different lighting so here I am just trying to see if different lighting would help I like the cast shadow on her it kind of gives the illusion of uh, some sort of environment something is casting a shadow on her right it's, it's putting her somewhere um, so I, I just try all these different kind of effects you know I'm, I'm putting different lighting effects on her I'm putting uh, tiffs like these texture tiffs also something I'm going to do a video on because um, I use these enough and they're they're handy that I, I just feel like uh, it'd be a good thing to do a video on I think you guys would really enjoy it um, so I try all these things and it's just an experimentation fit uh, stage it's just like eh, what would it look like with this what would it look like with that and this is the final project. This is our product. This is what I end up with. Uh, I did, after I hit stop on the recording, I did go in and just smooth out those shadows that were like the cast shadows across her. Uh, and I added a little bit more of a glare to her eyeball. The, the light blue hitting the bottom of her, um, I don't know the terms for the parts of the eyeball good enough, but the blue part. I added a little more blue um, coloring. But that's it. Uh, rounded the corners as you saw. Um, just kind of kept it pretty simple like I would in my sketchbook, just a digital version of it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope um, I hope you liked it. And as I mentioned before, it's really good to, to 
deconstruct the Illustrator file to really be able to just take it apart and explore and see how things were built. I'm going to put this up on Gumroad. You can download it. It's going to be free. So um, you guys can get that in the description below. While you're there, feel free to purchase a sketchbook. <laughs> um, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you did indeed like it. And um, you guys go draw something. Have fun and uh, see you next time. Bye.